Hello and welcome to this FPL Game Week 16 Transfer Plans video with me, Holly Shand. It is the final week of FPL action before the World Cup break, so I've got my best one week punts for you, as well as reviewing how my Game Week 15 went and looking ahead to my own potential transfer plans. Give this video a like, let's try and get it to 500 likes, let's get into it. Now Game Week 15 finished on a green arrow for me. Mo Salah absolutely saved my game week. I was looking at a 500k red arrow going into the Liverpool game. I made a late switch on captaincy from Haaland to Salah after the leak that Haaland was going to be benched for Man City and Salah definitely delivered two goals, maximum bonus points, 30 points for my team. I finished up on 69 points. Haaland obviously delivered as well as did Trossard and Zaha and Trippier. He is the gift that keeps on giving. I did have the Cancelo red card. Mitrovic, unfortunately, not in a squad for Fulham. Andreas wasn't even my first substitute. So, you know, definitely dodged a few points along the way there, but very happy to get a green arrow. I'm one point off the top 1 million, so hopefully I can get in there before the World Cup break and at least have something to really push for in the second half of the season. Now, when it comes to making transfers for game week 16, there's some important things to note. I'm recording this video on Monday morning. We have 19 of the 20 Premier League teams in action in the Carabao Cup third round this midweek. Fulham are the only side not involved in that one, including seven all Premier League clashes. So we could see a big use of players that are first team players for some of these Premier League clubs looking to progress. Certainly the likes of Spurs, Arsenal, Man City, Chelsea. So that's something to keep an eye on. Now it is the final game week before the World Cup break. So if you don't use your transfer this week, we all get unlimited transfers after that. You will lose that free transfer. So for the most part, you might as well use the transfer this week. You've got nothing to lose on taking a punt. The only thing I would do is just check on player value. For someone like Kieran Trippier, who may be in your team, if you've had him for a long time, he's gone up by 0.9 million since the start of the season. Not the greatest fixture this weekend against Chelsea, but on Chelsea's current form, it could be okay. But he's not the player that you want to sell because you'll inevitably want him back for game week 17 and it will cost you more money. So just be careful when considering those transfers. The first name on my watch list then is Spurs' Ivan Perisic. Son has been out injured and that means that Perisic has been playing as a secondary striker to Kane, like a double out of position in FPL, which is just brilliant. And his underlying numbers were really, really great. He hit the woodwork twice. He took five corners and two free kicks. He was top for crosses among all players in the game week with 14. And he was second for expected goal involvement for with 1.4 which is really impressive. And you can check out all the Opta stats that I'm providing here via Fantasy Football Hub by clicking the link in the description and getting 30% off. Moving into the midfield now, and Kevin De Bruyne again put in a great performance last weekend against Fulham, definitely dodged some points. He had an assist and disallowed. He won the penalty that Harden converted. He was second for crosses in game week 15 with 13, top for successful crosses with five, and top four key passes with five as well. Right now, I'm staring at Foden in my FPL team and really wishing that it was De Bruyne instead. The final name on my watch list for a good one-week punt for this week and a player that I'm likely to bring in is Leicester's James Madison ahead of an away trip to West Ham. In game week 15, he was top for shots with eight, top for shots in the box as well with six, second for key passes with Four. He got two assists in that game and he was dominating set pieces, so plenty of promise from him as well. When it comes to my own transfer plans then, I've got one free transfer, nothing in the bank, and I'm reluctant to sell players that I've got a lot of team value built in, so the likes of Zaha and Trippier will be going nowhere in my squad in terms of the weak points, the player that's frustrated me the most in recent games and probably has the worst form of all the players in my squad is Phil Foden. I've also got a little bit of an issue with 
You know, Wilson's got the sniffles. Mitrovic wasn't in the squad for game week 15. There was talk that he's maybe off to Serbia. Whether he's going to be back or not for game week 16 or whether we don't see him again before the World Cup is a thing. And that could be a story that continues to develop throughout the week of players really involved in the World Cup, really wanting to go, trying to avoid being played in game week 16. My third defender, Lewis Dunk, Aston Villa at home. I can't really tell how good a fixture that is for him defensively. So there's a few areas of my squad I could look to improve on. But selling Phil Foden, who cannot get in the Man City team in the Premier League right now, is kind of the thing that I want to prioritise. And James Madison is the player that I'm looking to bring in. Now, it is going to be a long midweek with all those midweek fixtures. So I'm certainly not going to make any confirmed transfers until Friday. But that's what I'm thinking with my transfers at the moment. The only problem is I've got absolutely nothing in the bank. So... If Foden goes down in price and Madison goes up, I'm going to be priced out of that move. I want to hear your transfer plans for game week 16. So get in the comments. I'll answer all of them that come in within 24 hours of this video going live. Thank you for your continued support on the channel. Let's get to 500 likes on this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. I'll be back with team selection on Wednesday. Good luck everyone for FPL game week 16.